Hello, welcome back. First of all, a huge congratulations to the Colorado Abs for winning the Stanley Cup last night. We've been busy the last few weeks watching all the games and their big parade is going to be here on Thursday in Denver. So we're super excited about it. Anyways, today I am back at the Fairmount Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. We're going to be visiting the grave of Mary Elich Long. She was the first woman to own a zoo and the original owner of Elich Gardens here in Denver. So I'm going to tell you about her story as we go look for her grave. Mary Elizabeth Hawk was born May 10th, 1865 in Philadelphia. Her family moved to California where her father started a livestock and fruit company. At 16, Mary fell in love with an older actor named John Elitch Jr. Her parents disapproved of the age difference, so the two eloped. After the couple moved to Denver, they opened the Elitch Palace dining room. To provide fresh fruits and vegetables to their customers, they bought a nearby farm. Mary started a garden and brought stray animals to the farm. Mary's love of animals was so well known that the circus owner, P.T. Barnum, gave her lions and bears. Her farm became the only zoo west of Chicago. The couple then opened Elitch's Zoological Gardens on May 1st, 1890. The gardens were very popular. Unfortunately, John got sick and died in 1891. Mary was deeply saddened by the loss of her great love. Oh wow, look at this one. It has a, some head busts in there. That's pretty cool. So after John's death, Mary became an independent owner for the zoo, which was unusual for a woman at the time. She added kangaroos, deer, and snakes to her collection and a successful theater and theater training program. In 1899, Mary married Thomas D. Long, and they took a six-month honeymoon. During their travels, they saw attractions and rides, and upon returning, they added a roller coaster to the gardens. Unfortunately, Thomas and Mary drifted apart and neglected many of the zoo's duties, forcing them to sell the property to John Millville in 1916. On July 16th, 1936, Mary died from either a heart attack or stroke at the age of 80. Mary's playhouse was restored and became the center for American theater and historic Elitch Gardens where performances still occur. She was inducted into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame in 1996 and the Colorado Business Hall of Fame in 1998. Her legacy continues to this day through the operation of the Elitch Gardens Amusement Park, which moved from Highlands to downtown Denver in 1995, as well as the restoration of the historic Elitch Theater on the site of the original gardens. Right, so we're coming up to her grave now. And it's a pretty big tombstone here. You see Elitch. Try to get my shadow out of the way here. Mary Elitch Long died July 16th, 1936. And she is buried along 
her first husband, John Jr. He died March 10th, 1891. And I believe that's a picture of John right there. And there's a nice cross. Very beautiful tombstone. But yeah, growing up in Colorado, I remember as a kid, we went to the old Elitch Gardens Amusement Park a lot when it was in the Highlands area off of Federal. And it was the most amazing amusement park ever. It just had this wonderful magical feel. I can't even describe it. I think every kid growing up here would say the same thing. It was just amazing. Um, and since they moved Elitch's downtown, it's never really been the same, um, especially after the bigger companies bought it, like Six Flags. So it just doesn't have the same, you know, atmosphere as, as the old one. So um, if you are from Colorado and you grew up here, we all remember and loved the old Elitch Garden. So it's very cool to come here and pay my respects to the Miss Mary Elitch Long, who started it all. So, rest in peace, Mary. Hope you enjoyed that video and getting to see the grave of Mary Elitch Long. Please like and subscribe for some more videos, and I'll see you at the next grave. Thanks.